This is my selection of soft plastic hoochies and grubs. These are great baits for rainbow trout, landlocked kings, and kokanee salmon. Um, they're very simple, they're very inexpensive, and they are deadly. Let's look at how these baits are rigged up. Happen to have a rigged up uh, hoochie right here. This is actually one of the colors I like to run for king salmon. It's, uh, I call it army truck. It's a gold star hoochie from the folks at uh, Silver Horde. Um, and I've got it on a two hook rig, a couple of red Gamagatsu octopus hooks trailing behind it. And you'll notice that uh, there's some beads there. I pre-tie my own leaders. Those beads are very important. I have four clear plastic beads behind my two hook schnell. You can see those beads will slide up into the body of the hoochie and uh, they, they fill out the body and they also provide a spacer and they get the hooks back towards the rear end of the bait skirt and that's very important okay hoochies are a wonderful bait fish imitation put them behind a dodger get the action right um, they're just super attractive to both trout and landlocked kings but what I find is a lot of times particularly the kings they'll come up and they'll just nip at the back of the bait so you want that hook trailing right at the rear edge of that skirt okay so I just rig up a leader tie two hooks on it put on some beads and slide on a hoochie it's easy to change colors you can try orange yeah you can try purples I love bait fish colors um, like these shad imitating colors um, they work great for trout they work great for kings for kokanee, I'll go with the brighter stuff. Often I'll, I'll choose pink. I'll go with, uh, with orange. And you have some great metallic options. Um, some glow, white glow. They all have their place. They're all uh, very effective and they're, they're very inexpensive baits. Now you can buy these pre-rigged. I never do that. I rig my own. It's super simple to tie a two-hook schnell. And... Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about running these behind a dodger. But first, I'm going to show you how to actually schnell your own leaders. If you're buying rigged hoochies, you're paying a lot more money than you should be. You can get a whole bunch of hoochies and a whole bunch of hooks and leader material, no problem. Now, what, what I use, I've got some number 8 octopus hooks there. I'm using 10 or 12 pound test fluorocarbon leader material here. For our purposes of the demonstration on how to tie the leader though, I'm going to use these, these big giant 9 knot hooks so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use some, uh, some 40 pound test, big game line. We'll pull off a little length of line there. Trim off a piece. Set that over there. So here's the deal, here's how you tie a hoochie leader. And uh, this style of rigging, this is something you really need to know because uh, you can rig a lot of different baits this way. So take your first hook, take your line, thread it through the eye, and this is a bumper schnell, basically an egg loop knot, so you can look that up. But this is how it's done. You got your line through there, you just start wrapping. Make about five wraps, six wraps. Then you stop, take this line, thread it back through the eye, going that way, going away this time. Pin that down. Now that line's right there. I'm going to trap it with my finger, and I'm going to continue my wraps. I'm wrapping with the same line I was wrapping with before, and I'm going to add another five or six wraps. And then I'm going to lubricate that. I won't do it now, but lubricate that, and then just slide sure it doesn't tangle up on you like that. It's lying stiff. Just slide that down and you end up a pretty good looking schnell. You got a tag in there. You can take that off. Usually I'll do that at the end but I'll snap it off now so it doesn't distract anyone. So there's the first hook. Second hook we're going to tie on the same exact way. Take my leader out through the eye Slide this hook down into the position where you want it. I try to set it up so the hook points are running in opposition to each other. 
I try to do that, but uh, sometimes it doesn't come out that way. But we'll, we'll try here. So slide those down, get them about, I like to put them about one hook length apart, as a general rule. So I get that kind of positioned where I want it, I'll start my wraps five times right there, five or six times, and you can wrap as many times as you want, that's kind of the minimum, it's about five. Taking my line, I'm going out through the eye again, just like I did before. my wraps wrap 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 with the same line I was wrapping before and now I'm just gonna draw this down double hook leader easy as pie hooks are running in opposition to each other now if I had a a hoochie that was about as big as a bowling pin, I'd be all set with these nine odd hooks. But you get the idea. Hopefully you were able to see that pretty well. But those are just two hooks attached via egg loop schnell knots. Um, pretty simple. And if you, you rig your own hoochies, you're going to get them for about half price, I would say. So learn how to tie that knot. Final words on rigging hoochies. You always want to run your hoochie behind a dodger. What I've got here, i got a six inch gold star dodger. And this hoochie is about two and a half blade lengths. You can see there's one length, leader, two. Try to hold that there. Two, I don't know if you can see that. Two and a half lengths behind the blade. Two and a half blade lengths behind the dodger. And that's important. The action I'm looking for, especially when I'm targeting kings, and this is a king salmon rig. I catch a lot of big rainbows on it. This is for king salmon. It's a shad colored hoochie with the double hooks. I want that bait to dart and stop. Dart and stop. It briefly stops. If you have it about two and a half uh, dodger links behind, that's the action you're going to get if you're trolling at just under two miles an hour with this setup. It's just like walking a Zara spook for bass on top. The bait walks, it darts and pauses, darts and pauses, darts and pauses. That pause is critical. I'm looking for the same action on my hoochie as I would impart on that Zara spook looking for bass. I want it to dart and pause, dart and pause. Super effective, super deadly. For kokanee, tip your hooks with shoe peg corn. For king salmon, slather this with uh, threadfin shad, anchovy, sardine scent, something from Procure. But I also put a little piece of anchovy skin on the rear hook. Same thing goes for rainbow trout. Apply scent, but try to tip your hoochie with a little piece of shad or a little piece of anchovy. This makes it that much more effective and that much more attractive to the fish. So that's it. Hoochies. They're simple. They're inexpensive and they're super deadly.